Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. It's my mother's birthday coming up and what she's asked for is some new planters for the garden. So I'd better get on with it. So let's get started. I decided to build my planters around a couple of plastic ones I'd already bought. I held the pot up to the wood to determine how high my planters were going to be. Then I cut all the uprights on the chop saw. The wood I was using had rounded over edges, so the first thing to do was to cut these edges off. I then flipped them over and cut them so they were square. The bits I'm cutting off I'm saving because I need them later in the project. I measured the width of the pots and then marked out how wide the cross sections for the planters needed to be. I set a stop block and cut all these pieces out on the chop saw. To hold everything together I'm going to use glue and dowels. I'm using my doweling machine to bore holes in the uprights and the cross members. Put a dab of glue in the holes and then tap in a 10mm dowel. Well, maybe slightly more than a dab. I put some glue in the holes that are going to set the dowel and then I can push it all together. With it all pushed together, I can clamp it in place and let it set up. With the two frames made, I can just join them together now to make a cube. The dowels will make this very strong, but you could just screw it together and then fill the screw holes. As this is going to be outside, the glue I'm using is waterproof. It's starting to take shape, so now I'm just going to put loads of clamps on and leave it overnight to set. I'm now taking the leftovers from where I squared up the wood and chopping them down the centre to make some battens. Just going to chop them all to length and then I can attach them. They're going on with a bead of glue and then a few brad nails. I'm using some tongue and groove cladding so I can just set a stop block and then cut all the pieces to the same length. I'm test fitting the cladding and then marking the last piece that needs to be cut. I can then just cut this down on the bandsaw. Running a bead of glue along the batten, sliding in the cladding and then a few brad nails to hold it all in place. When the glue's dried, just a final sand. To finish, she gets three coats of a garden paint. And that's them all done. I'm quite pleased with them, just hope my mum is. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more projects.